Hello, and thanks for coming out on another great adventure with us today. Got the packs loaded up, and uh, we're gonna make a nice overnight trip here. We're in the Glen Canyon National Recreation Area, uh, just by Page, Arizona, and we're gonna be making an awesome little overnight trip here down to the Colorado River. So uh, we actually have done this hike before. We kinda went out and scouted it and checked it out, and. It's got a legit campsite down here. So we just parked the car. We've got uh, maybe like a two mile hike right here through some incredibly soft sand. So that's why we had to park the car right there just cause unless you got some high clearance and four by four, uh, you're not getting out there and you're gonna get stuck. So park the truck, got a little hike and then we're gonna have an awesome scramble down the rim of the canyon here our campsite for the night so pretty excited we're getting on the trail here gonna make some mileage and get to the spot where we have to make our descent so let's get on the trail on this road now for a little bit and we just found our tracks from when we came down the last time and scouted this out so now we are kind of off trail and basically following this route that Connor knows about and that will take us all the way down to the canyon so trying to uh, minimize our impact here and follow our same trail but it's only like this for a little bit and then we're scrambling on rocks so uh, let's see if we can find our way here Right, we have just gotten to the part where we're doing our scramble. You can kind of see the guys 
right up ahead of me down there. They're just starting to navigate it. But I'm gonna be real careful here. If you look right over the edge, right down there by the river is the campsite we're gonna end up at. So the trail basically like traverses this ledge and then we cut on down. So I'm gonna start my way down to meet up with the guys. Pretty cool. And our first drop. Okay, we just came down through that sketchy little cut and now we're just kind of navigating this little ridge right here down to our next drop. So I'm trying to stay focused on the rock and pick where I'm putting my feet carefully. Whoa, give me that. You all good? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Here goes Connor on the rope.
waterfowl hows and does. And we just came, the rope goes right up there, and we're on that shelf, and then we came right up through that little cut right there. Crazy, man. Yo, this trail is awesome. All right, we are getting closer to the river here. Let's find our way on down. Officially come to the point in our hike. There she is. Into the shade. We have dipped below the rim. Ah, look at that. That is something. Wow. Alright. Jump. <laughs> Easy money. Easy money, baby. And we have made it. Let's find a campsite. Well, here we are. Beautiful Colorado River. Pretty solid echoes. Pretty solid. Ah, uh, well, we're just trying to decide where we want to set up. I think we're gonna have a little lunch right now and then maybe just hike around a little bit more here and try to see what other cool stuff we can find. But pretty dope. Always the same temperature or something. Uh, All right, we found home for the night. We're gonna uh, start getting some stuff set up here. Connor's already full on into wood duty. But these sites down here have these legit camperings, so we are just gonna have a rip and fire tonight. Uh, it looks like it's nice out, but the temperature today as we were descending was 48 degrees, so not too bad. Uh, projected low tonight is going to be about 29, 30 degrees, somewhere in there. And that's for the nearest town, so it could be even lower for us here because we're uh, a couple hundred feet down in the canyon. So um, I'm not too worried about it. I got my zero degree bag. I got my new pad, my Neo Air X-Therm. Going to be fantastic, so I'm going to be nice and warm tonight. But we're, I think, going to get some food going here. Maybe check out our area, hike around a little bit. But other than that, we're just going to be hanging out here. So life is good. We found a beautiful spot. I think it's time to get a fire going and kick back and relax. So our campsite's just right back down there. And we're just following this path right now. And it's just kind of taking us back up the canyon. And we're just following it and seeing where it goes. Because this is just so cool. And just to be down here and see how big these walls are. I can't believe we found that trail. And it's literally just a cut 
down through the side of this canyon. So crazy. There are all these little goat trails off down here to the side. And I think on my way back, I'm gonna check a couple out and see if any of them look any better to spend the night at. Cause some of them look like they go right down onto the water, which would be pretty cool. So I think the guys are just up ahead of me here. So we're gonna see where this trail goes and what else we can see down here. All right, boys are down there checking out another site. Let's go get them. Ooh. camp here. Connor's just setting up, but I am starving. I haven't really eaten a lot today, so I'm actually making a little food quick. So I got some water going right here. And so I copped this off Amazon, some uh, fr premium dried pulled pork. So I got a little brioche bun and we're going to make a little uh, pulled pork sandwich right here. So barbecue sauce, got some of these little sweet baby rays mm. and some ranch. And uh, yeah, we're going to make a little pulled pork sandy. So some water quick and put this together. All right, toasted my bun on my MSR here. Got my uh, pulled pork, so let's, uh, let's give this puppy a try. Doesn't look too bad. Um, yeah, that was pretty good. Mm-hmm. The meat shreds, pulled pork. You know, that is for sure going to be in my bag on some next hikes. That's a nice hot pulled pork sandwich out on the trail. I'm about that. Well, they got their gear all set up here. I need to jump on it, but I was hungry, so I needed to get some food in me. So I'm going to put the camera down and uh, set my tent up here. All right, we got the tent up. We got another tent up. We got another tent up. Here's my gear explosion happening out of my pack. Uh, time to just get everything inside there. And then Connors looks like he's already going gung-ho here on getting this fire going. So the faster we get that thing ripping, the better. I'm ready for that. All right, inflating the pad. This is the Neo Air X-Therm Max. This is what's gonna keep me nice and mosty roasty toasty tonight. And if y'all don't know, this thing right here, Thermarest Pocket Bellow. Uh, that thing is freaking sweet. Save your lungs, man. Just let that thing do the work for you. It weighs next to nothing, disappears in my pack, and lets me go do something else while this is blowing up. Pretty dang cool. So we got all of our tents set up. There's my tent. There's Sam's tent. There's Connor's tent. We got a nice little fire going. I think it's time to kick back, make a little dinner. Enjoy this fire. All right, Connor is going full caveman on this fire right now. We're getting toasty. Ooh, look at that. Oh, yeah, baby. Very nice. I don't know if you can see it, but right up there, that moonrise is just coming up right now. All right, we got a little dinner time action right going on right here. What you got cooking right there? Some chicken and rice. Ooh. Bob one up for me. <laughs> uh, I'm doing Thanksgiving dinner. So I got mashed potatoes and stuffing with cranberries, some veggies, uh, chicken, and a little turkey stock, or uh, I guess uh, turkey gravy. So I'm gonna have to make that last. My water's about to boil. Con dog, what you working with over here? I'm gonna make some uh, Indian dal curry, but uh, we're working with the spices right now. We're getting it tuned. <laughs> this is what I love about life on the trail, man. Getting out here under the stars for a night, having some good food by a fire. Uh, yeah, this is good. Temperature's definitely dropping a little bit, but this fire is amazing. And literally, we're all saying, like, I have to take my jacket off. My hands are too hot. It's like, feels so good sitting around this fire. 
uh, yeah, we're gonna stay here all freaking night. Time to make some dinner and dig in. I am hungry. All right, what's the status report here? How's just doing? <laughs> Pretty fuego. I could use a little more like flavor. It, it's good. Spice is there, but uh, a little more coconut milk, a little more spice. It's lacking a little bit, huh? It's it's, it's almost there, just not quite. How you doing over there, Big Tex? I'm doing great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the spot. My Thanksgiving dinner is looking bomb. I just added the gravy in there, and I'm about to dig on it. So we about to get it, boy. It is pretty bomb. Um, not no complaints from me. Maybe only a dinner roll or something to enjoy with it would be good, but that slaps pretty hard. I was saying the only thing that's kind of I don't like about it is it reminds me of when you're eating Thanksgiving dinner and you get down to that last bite on your plate and you kind of scrape everything and get that last bite off your plate. It's like that, but a whole meal of it, which, you know, I got no complaints on. It's great flavor, but it's funny. Uh, enjoying this fire, pretty dang nice. Ooh, and how was the Thanksgiving dinner, you ask? <laughs> Empty bag. That was so good. Oh, man. That definitely hit the spot. Filled me up with some good hot food. Now we're just enjoying this ripping fire. I didn't even realize it, but you can see the moon. I didn't think my GoPro would pick it up. There are a bunch of stars out, but of course you can't even see them. So Pretty beautiful. We're just down here. You can barely hear the river running right next to us here. But it's just over the little rise right there. So we're all just hanging out, enjoying this fire. We're going to sip on a little whiskey. Probably have a little dessert. And watch this fire burn on down before we call it a night. Pretty nice. Going to enjoy this for sure. This is what I love about being out on the trail. Oh, good morning. We're just getting up right now. It definitely got pretty cold on us last night. Uh, I don't think too bad. My water didn't freeze inside the tent again, but my one outside in my bag might have. But I stayed nice and warm. This is zero degree, man. This thing is awesome. Big Agnes, you guys nailed it on this one. So nice and warm. Even my feet. I did sleep in my down booties last night too, which definitely helped. My feet were nice and warm all night. So That was great. I had my face like balaclava covering up and it got super wet from all the condensation. So could definitely tell all my breath I was getting my stuff wet right here around where my mouth was. Other than that, the new pad did great too, it kept me nice and warm. It's a little stiff, so I think I'm gonna have to mess with it a little bit and try dialing it down and letting a little more pressure out to get it a little more comfortable. But kept me nice and warm, it was great. I had no complaints at all. So, nothing better than staying warm all night and having some good dreams. Boys are up right now just getting the fire going, so I think I'm about to. Try to get some motivation to get out of this bag. Go get some food going, get some hot coffee, and get tent broken down here so we can get back on the trail and back to the truck. So, oh, I don't want to get out though. The bag is so warm. Well, we're just getting the fire going now. I am full down mode here, down pants, down booties. Trying to stay warm. Boys, how'd we sleep last night? Not the best. <laughs> a little cold. <laughs> uh, I survived. Yeah. yeah. It was better than Willis, but yeah. Do you think it was warmer than our Willis Creek? I thought it was colder last night for sure. I think once again, like the wind. Yeah, the wind was. It wasn't as bad. But yeah. But it was nice. It was a good night. That's good. Well, we're just waiting for that sun to crack on over here. I think we probably still have about probably half an hour before we see sunlight, but. Just starting to come across the top of the canyons here. Check that out. It did get some ice in there last night, so temp definitely dipped, probably down into the 20s. Oh man, I'm ready for some hot coffee. This fire is struggling to get going here. Everything's kind of damp and cold. Oh, struggle bus. Struggle bus. <laughs> Yo, look at that, it's all iced up. <laughs> How are your socks over there, straight ice cubes? Yep. Ice cubes and a half, but we're living good now. Yo, we living, dog. <laughs> oh, I got the coffee going. That is so good. Get something hot inside me. And I already pounded my oatmeal here, too. That was really good. So, 
Getting some good hot food in us, getting this fire going, finally putting off some heat. Gonna start breaking down the camp here and make some moves, although we're still just waiting for some sun. It's getting closer though. Well, that's about it. Tents are broken down and we are making some moves here back up to the rock face. Uh, we were kind of waiting for the sun to come, but it looks like because of where we are in the canyon, it's going to be a while. So we just made the call that we're going to sk skedaddle here and get up on the rim. Because if you start looking here, you know, where we have to go to get on the ropes, it's just up beyond this ridge. So as soon as we start climbing here a minute, we're going to be up in the sun. So I think we're going to be good. Now I just got to find a way up on this rock and meet up with the boys. <laughs> Spent the night right down there, right by the river. So we already just made our kind of first little ascent here. And now we're getting up towards where we're gonna have to climb on that rope to get up to that first uh, first kind of bridge back up towards those cuts. So ah, just getting ready. First little scent, up off the rope right there. Oh, that's that first thing. That gets your blood going. All right, boys, we ready? Good luck. Keyhole cut right here, popping through. Well, we climbed out of that canyon in one piece. I don't know which is worse, down or up. Definitely packs weighed more going down. But man, what a cool, cool trail to follow. A little path all the way down to the river. Very cool. Now we're just scrambling out of this little gully on our way back up here. Meet up with the sand trail back to the truck <sighs> pretty cool Whew. It's, a, it's a nice bit of vertical right there Not just out of breath. <laughs>
Well, what an adventure, man. That was cool. Some root finding, some rock scrambling. Awesome little campsite right by the river. Nice fire, good food. What more can you really ask for other than that? That was uh, pretty amazing. Cool trail, not too far, which is nice, you know, but uh, a lot of vertical. Pretty amazing. I think we're gonna get out of here, get some food, get a shower. Back to life, man. Uh, really cool, great adventure. Check that one off the books, so. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel, throw a like up there and share my videos. It helps grow, helps uh, get a broader audience here. So it encourages me to go out, go on more adventures like this and explore this great place that's in my backyard. Pretty cool. Well, I think that's gonna just about wrap it up here. So as always, bring plenty of water and I'll see you guys out on the trail. Take it easy.